What's up everybody? My name is Four Eyes and we are back! Game of Thrones part two. Who's ready? I'm pumped. Let's do this. So excited. I don't even remember where we left off. Oh yeah. Ethan? Ethan! Ethan, where the F are you? Him. Did you? He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Oh, don't be such a little bitch. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. Well, then why are you playing he was it? I was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. Oh, I'm God. Right here. You're fine, but dude. I promise. I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. In King's Landing? I doubt it. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, God, this kid's gotta be Sir like Royland, for one. 14, 15. What? Running a kingdom. And he calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. I can't imagine being that young. We all used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. All of that was like on their shoulders. Asher, That's crazy. Asher just got angry at everything. Well. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Yeah, well, sometimes... I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. You may have, have to be. To I'd rather have my brother than a lord. Yeah, I'll well... Both, I'm afraid. You know, being your brother is not going to save you. Well, everybody. He has to take care of all these people, you not just her. anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. <laughs> so it innocent. That simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? He's a kid. Lord Aethman, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. I guess they're kids too, though. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly <coughs> unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Oh yeah. Can't you meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's Can't demanding do. an audience with the Lord. We really must go. Yeah. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay. 
with his family. Sorry, Fine. guys. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. Gotta step up now. As much as it sucks, but... You know, what are you gonna do? I mean, if you show weakness that you're not even gonna come, then they're just gonna treat you like a kid. And probably kill everybody, so... Oh, intenseness. Well, this is not gonna go well. Ominous they showed music. Up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I, I got this. Well said, my lord. Now is Can't not show the time weakness. to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. Yeah, He's got five but... times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. Ugh, All the more reason the to stand up for it's ourselves. Like a Only nasty word. I mean... I get being smart, but at the same time, you're already a kid. They're gonna just treat you like a kid. I mean, they're gonna be assholes either way. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and. I'm gonna be nice, but firm. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Clever. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. Damn. You little fuck. That's how you talk to a lord. You forest people. Oops. <laughs> Shit on us for generations. <laughs> well, now the Starks are no longer around to have you back. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. We're the power of Killed his nasty bowl cut head. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. <coughs> he was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. <coughs> what have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you <laughs> denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Rick <coughs> What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honourable men. Lady Forrester. I really don't like know. A wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Huh? Have you forgotten your mother? Damn. I don't know if I would have said any if, if this would have gone no any different. I feel like lady. he's just a little bitch. So. Your will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. Well, I was wrong about your son, my lady. <sighs> he stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son, but you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. F Ramsay Snow. Have a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. I can't imagine being sent off. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. 
Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. I can't imagine being like worlds away from my family like that. Not knowing if they're- It troubles me to even ask this of you. Alive but we or must dead. appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. That's a lot to ask. I mean, Lady Marjorie's cool, but she's marrying a little bitch, so. <clears throat> I'm coming, I'm coming. One moment. Oh. Sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. <clears throat> nah, it's cool. No, it's fine. Come in. <sighs> At least she's a handmaiden. She's got it pretty good. Begging your pardon, milady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking. You seem rather upset. Mm, I'm cool, dude. I'm fine. Thank you. Of course, my lady. <clears throat> Please hurry if well, you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like been friend. stalking me, dude. Been creeping. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning outside the world, <clears throat> talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei. I have mixed feelings about Cersei. Which they appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? Oh shit. That's me! I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. It could you be useful to me. all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. <clears throat> Could be useful. To you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered more than girl in my service, has she painted you a traitor? Oh, she shit. was very pleased <clears throat> with herself. Well, how did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Yeah, well, we saw how that worked out for Rob Stark's kids. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for Sounds like now. Cersei. I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you <clears> if you were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. Cersei just needs... Her butt kissed and everything I will be fine. I trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Oh shit, already? See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> You'll be fine. This is gonna I be stressful. I don't know if I can handle Cersei. You must say another. Get ready to do some butt kissing. Good old fashioned. Good luck. Yeah, no shit. I'll need that. Thank you. Let the good vibes just rain down on me. Oh. <sighs> Cersei's like a rabid dog. <clears throat> Which, if you're up to date with Game of Thrones, then, then you know. You know some you things. <sighs> what the F are y'all 
looking at? Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Thank you. Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? Tyrion, I love you. Just, just With saying. With permission, <clears throat> allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Dude, props to Marjorie for handling that. Your Grace. The girl okay. knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Okay. Whew. House Forrester is a northern house. <laughs> <new> <laughs> to the king. So nervous. I hate oh, the tom. I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. No oh, shit. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. She's hmm. not gonna like that. And yet. Yeah, she's not gonna like that. She's not gonna like anything I say. <sighs> it's Cersei in it for you. They were the wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. <laughs> the girl did name what? the one true king. What do you want from Is me, Cersei? Is willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. Oh shit, she ain't gonna like that. And I the Queen Regent, and Tyrion the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions, while in fact they're not <laughs> the That kinda sounds like me. Smartass, as you might call it. Easily abandoned. <clears throat> but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. Okay. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Sure. Forrester Ironwood does <clears throat> seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. She always has a smirk on I her see. face. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks. Wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. I love Tyrion so much. an interesting <laughs> question, I suppose. Can we truly blame <clears throat> those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her? <sighs> oh, Cersei. Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart. Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find She's it just quick. pleased with my answer? She would have only been Boy, pleased if I would have find. betrayed her. This so, whatever. With all sorts of <clears throat> ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? Tyrion, the most I would have married you. All of King's Just Land. saying. You're fantastic. My sense is I would have married you. Almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Ugh, Cersei, you would have been displeased with whatever I said. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I can't tell who I pissed off here.
I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. Which is exactly what Marjorie it wanted, was so. Quite the first impression. <clears throat> I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Like a little danger? Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're not. Went well. Went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Yeah, it's whatever. Dealt with plenty of bitches in my time. Entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, yeah, what? he does a sister, so. And over in Martell, <clears throat> the red. I'm told he has a paramour. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. Yeah, I don't have fun. Best, according to the cookbooks. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although um, I'm in the game. I can only imagine Lady. What that would be like. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. Nope. The queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. Sorry, Marge. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. 